Hi, my name is AJ Salzberg, and today we will be talking about task capture. Recently, at Forward 3, UiPath introduced its enterprise RPA platform that covers each stage of your RPA journey. Today, I'd like to concentrate on the Discover stage, and more specifically, on our new process understanding tool, Task Capture. Task Capture enables your business process experts to quickly capture and share the specifics of their manual tasks before transforming their expertise into documented organizational knowledge to accelerate automation. Let's take a look at the tool in action as it helps document an example process. Task Capture gives you two options for documenting business processes, Capture Process and Simple Template. We'll begin with Capture Process, in which the tool automatically captures your process as you walk through it in real time. As you work through each process step, Task Capture captures each action and its metadata, takes screenshots of every mouse click and keystroke, and builds a workflow diagram based on the collected data. Furthermore, you can pause or stop recording at any point and restart as needed, and you can view both previews of the screenshots captured and overall number of steps recorded. And in order to start, we will use Capture Process. And to start that, we will click on the Capture Process button. We then need to enter in the document date. We then can enter in a cross CC number. And then let's enter in a GL account number. And after all of our steps for our example process have been recording, we can either press pause to pause the recording of our steps or stop and to return back to task capture. Once we've finished, we can see that task capture has automatically generated a process map of the entire process containing screenshots, window names, and other identifying information for the various steps recorded. In addition, the tool automatically generates the titles and descriptions for each specific step, which can be edited as desired for additional clarification from the SME. We can see the automatic step titles and step de descriptions posted on the right side. But editing a process step is just as easy as double clicking on it. Here, we are launched into the image editor. Inside the image editor, we have a lot of powers at our disposal, so let's take a bigger look. We're able to easily change the step title, such as type in cross cc number, and add a description. We're able to copy images, replace them, or delete the image. Now we also have the ability to crop our images by clicking on this button here and selecting the area which we want to keep. We can then press crop and be left with our resulting image. Now we also can add text boxes and other shapes. And to add a text box, we click on the T here and maybe we want to signal that we are typing in 111 to this area. And we also have the ability to add shapes. Now we also can highlight important details such as the company code for this case. And we can blur out sensitive information by using the blur. So maybe we want to hide the posting date. And finally, what we can do is make use of our integrated optical character recognition technology or OCR to grab text and then use that text later in the document. We can do that by simply pressing the OCR tool here above called grab text to grab the document type so that we can use this later in our document. And we could save that along in our description. Once you've enhanced and edited your individual steps, it's time to return to the overall process map. We can do so by pressing this orange button, Go to Diagram. Here, we can continue capturing the process from where we left off, or we can modularly add 
more individual sequences or additional business rules and fill them in with recorded actions. We can do so by clicking on any of these buttons below to add either another sequence that would need to be recorded or another decision where we can add business logic. When you've finished recording your full process, you can export this process as a process definition document in docx format or a workflow skeleton XAML file for use in UiPath Studio. And you can do so by clicking on that export and publish button, then choosing an output. And we'll first go through the Word document. Now I'll hit next and export that document. I'll save it. And then we can open this file. And we'll see that Task Capture was able to generate the exact same steps and apply them to UiPath. So we'll see the as is process map here as exactly recorded in Task Capture and then followed by each individual step and the specific steps even after they were edited, such as this step here. Now let's go back and take a look at exporting Task Capture as a UiPath XAML file. So we could do so by clicking on File Format and then UiPath Studio. Now we could save this again and we will see a skeleton of the overall workflow developed within UiPath Studio. And this is very important because this is enabling business analyst or RPA developer for rapid automation implementation. And now that UiPath Studio has opened, we can see the exact same sequences that have been displayed within Task Capture in UiPath Studio. And now we have that skeleton to give to our RPA developer so that they can help start building this automation. Now let's go back and take a look at the simple template option for capturing processes. Rather than starting off recording your process steps, this method allows you to build out your overall workflow diagram with all the necessary steps before diving into each and using task capture to record the steps taken. So for example, we could add a sequence here and name that sequence enter data into SAP. We then after the fact can record our actions of actually entering that data into SAP. No matter which method of process capture you use, all of your business processes steps will be documented completely and accurately, and furthermore, there's no need to worry about the data security, as all data captured by the tool is only stored locally on the user's workstation. With Task Capture, you no longer need to create RPA documentation manually. The tool does it for you. In this way, it bridges two gaps. First, between the SME and business analysts by automatically generating PDDs, and second, between the SME and the RPA developer by creating workflow skeletons that can be used as a starting point for further robot implementation in UiPath Studio. Task Capture is flexible, capable of capturing any business process, and this flexibility, combined with its ease of use, helps spread and democratize RPA across your organization.